This video is a brief introduction to computational number theory. It's a branch of number theory that is concerned with finding and implementation of efficient computer algorithm for solving various problems. There are two important aspects of the computational number theory. One is primality testing and the second is prime factorization of large integers. Why this is so important about the prime in both the investigation that I mentioned here? As we can see that for any integer n, by fundamental theorem of arithmetic, it says that any integer smallest unit is the prime number. You can reduce n as in the prime factorization. Let me to consider an example which is 15. So if I want to understand what are the smallest units of 15, I can write this into the prime factorization that is 3 and 5. To know results about 15, I must write down this into the prime factorization and I can find the results based on this number 3 and 5 and then I can trace back the relation or the result that I want to understand for the number 15. So it's very important in the computational number theory and so in the number theory primes are the heart and soul of the subject. But the question is why prime investigation is so important? And to answer this question we must look at in today's uh, modern world. We all deal with the computer system, we all attach with the computer networks and in the modern world the security of the computer is a prime concern and in the security issues encryption processes the prime number plays an important role. So in this course we will be learning many concepts available in elementary number theory and algebra specifically in finite groups and computational complexities or we say the time estimate for doing arithmetic we will be learning about greatest common divisors euclid algorithm primes primality testing and modular arithmetic factorization and all these help us to understand many problems that is available in cryptography and cryptography is the science or the area where we are dealing with the security issues or about the encryption process safe encryption processes including the prime numbers or the results based on the primalities one and we'll be using many results from the number theory and algebra to understand the results available in cryptography.